Hey guys, Goodfella here, bringing to you some NBA 2K12 My Player Mode, and today we're gonna be bringing some rookie showcase for you guys. Exciting time of the year, and I'm gonna be going up against the best rookies in the game and trying to impress the scouts and GMs and try to get drafted as high as possible. And in this game, you will not see in the interviews towards the end. You'll see in a different video, which I will post. Later on, probably right after this video, I'm going to post a NBA draft interviews and also the actual NBA draft, so stay tuned for that. But today we're going to be focusing on my game here. I'm trying my best to get used to this game. It's kind of new. It's really different from 2K11. And when I say different, I mean the controls and the feel of the game is way different than NBA 2K11. They really changed the controls this year. It's way different to play the game. You really have to pick and choose your spots to score and assist and do everything. So just be patient with the game. And I was really frustrated the first time I got the game. But once I kind of step back, reflect what I did wrong, I kind of got used to it. And now I'm trying to get better at the game. I'm still not at the point where I want to be. But I'm definitely getting better at the game. And if you guys are wondering if you're the only one who's frustrated, that's not true. I think a lot of people, at least my friends that I've spoken to who are on YouTube obviously and people in real life, they've been frustrated with the game for a few few times and I just want you to know just stay with it, get used to the, the new controls and once you do it will be much easier. So we get the tip here and right off the bat I run a pick and roll with a big man and he gets a nice dunk there and I get an assist. That's very helpful for me as a point guard and if you guys are haven't seen my creation video I create a scoring six foot two scoring point guard and uh, I'm gonna be bringing some more videos I already got drafted I already know where to go but I'm not gonna tell you obviously you just have to see and watch I'm really excited to be on the team that I am right now I think it's gonna be a good good season and good series for you guys I'm really excited about Mike Mick Cabango uh, he's turning out to be a great player and I'm really excited about NBA 2K12 in general. I really like what they've done this year with the game. They added a lot of new features and right there I get a nice mid-range shot. And if you guys are wondering what jump shot I use, don't worry this is not the jump shot I'm going to be using. And as far as my career I switched it. I found a better shot and I will share it later on. But for now don't even worry about this jump shot. This jump shot was straight up garbage. And the reason I chose this jump shot to begin with is because it looked cool at the beginning and I didn't really spend a lot of time looking at the jump shots. I just found something that I liked and it looked nice but then once I figured out a better jump shot, this one looked terrible so don't even worry about that. And once I post my NBA season debut, I will show you the jump shot that I use. It's really nice. It's very similar to textbook in NBA 2K11. And I found a bunch of other jump shots, like a mix and match, I guess. That's what I did. And I found Ben Gordon's jump shot. I found Kobe's, which I totally forgot about to write it down. So I didn't really think about it. I found Kevin Durant's, or similar to Kevin Durant's. I found Rip Hamilton, Kyle Korver. So a lot of jump shots that I found. And I forgot to write them down, so it's kind of useless. But I will look at it eventually and right here I'm trying to ask for the ball I'm doing everything I can even set a screen he just goes up and pulls up for a nice three and he drains it that made me mad but at least he made the shot so we're only down by three second quarter I run a pick and roll with a big man unfortunately I don't see any options to pass so I just pull up for mid-range a nice mid-range shot there and I have eight points four rebounds that's pretty good for point guard four rebounds that's pretty solid and that big man just got a nice put back off my miss and uh, we're up by one now and staying on topic of shots also I kinda don't like the fact that they added so many options for jump shot I mean it's cool and it's really nice that you can create your own jump shot but at the same time it kinda takes a long time and really confusing I guess if you could say that to create your jump shot so you really have to be patient and try to find a jump shot that you feel comfortable and that you like and hopefully it will work out for you. And here we are at the halftime and uh, the breakdown of my performance. I only have two stars on my passing so I need to get my assist up. I only have one assist at the half. I have one turnover so I get three stars there. 
My team plays three stars, that's average, I need to get that up. I think if I get more assists to my teammates, I will automatically get my team play up and also my assists. So all I really have to do this half is take care of the basketball, try not to turn it over and get assists like that and nice easy layup there. And today I'm going to give you some exciting news. I mean, oh my god, this is amazing. I mean, it happened so fast, but it's crazy. Basically, VA Baseball... Blinkfro and myself are reached out to a lot of YouTube commentators who post NBA 2K12 videos and we wanted to create an online association with them and we got an amazing response from the community so we gathered a lot of YouTube commentators some of probably your favorite commentators on YouTube to join our online association and it's probably gonna start this weekend and so far we have VA Baseball, Blinkfro, and myself obviously. We have Amvirus, Astrofan, and possibly Conscious Commentators. I don't know their status yet, but uh, they might be in the league. We also have King Greco, Natus Fan, it's Pronto, and a lot of different other commentators that I haven't really met yet. So I don't know about them but this weekend is going to be exciting time for us as YouTube commentators because we're going to be facing against each other in online association trying to prove our best and right there I get dunked on that was a terrible terrible highlight I don't even know why I put it there I just put it there because it was so embarrassing so I'm doing a pretty good job I got seven assists seven rebounds and 16 points I'm doing pretty well but back to the online association we asked a lot of YouTube commentators and I think Wiza now is going to be in it. So a lot of great YouTube commentators are going to be in it and I'm just looking forward to bring some videos and hopefully we'll do well. I'm really hoping I can bring some videos of online association and the team I chose was Dallas Mavericks. And the reason I chose is because Dallas Mavericks, to be quite honest, was always my favorite team. I really like Dirk, I really like Jason Kidd, and now they have Kron Butler and Tyson Chandler. I mean, that's just a deadly combination. And Jason Terry is another solid player. So I just chose Mavs because I really like the team, and I really like how they played last year, obviously winning the championship. So I went with Mavs. I think Blink Fro with went with Hornets. I'm pretty sure VA went with Thunder. Astro Fan went with Houston. Virus went with Wow Hawks. Wow, I totally forgot. And Pronto went with Bulls, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And also, who else we have? King Greco. I don't even know what team he. I don't think he has chosen yet. And uh, we have a lot of great commentators. It's just exciting that we finally did something for the community, and I think it's going to be exciting. And basically, the game is coming to an end. I have 20 points. I was one rebound away from a triple-double. I got 10 assists and 45 from the field goal. Not a bad stat, but we'll see how it fares against the GMs and their scouting, how they think I did in the game. And I think I did pretty well. Hopefully I get drafted in the lottery. And I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Next is going to be a draft interviews and draft com, uh, the actual draft. Wow, well, I almost said draft combine. But I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. I will bring the video very shortly after I finish the commentary. And I will see you later.